Hey everyone, Miles J here, and girl, do I have a story for y'all? So basically, I don't want to say assaulted because that's a really strong word that could result in people going to jail, but I was aggressively manhandled by a intoxicated Trippendale. And for those of you who don't know, Trippendales is a male stripper. So here's how that happened. I was in Vegas just hanging out with friends, my best friend Jamila, and like on the last day, like the day before I left to go to LA to go to KCON, my friend Jamila was like, hey, let's go, you know, rent a hotel for you last night and we'll just hang out there and, you know, get turned and walk on down Fremont Street. So we left the hotel and we were just strolling on by and then all of a sudden I see this Chippendale booth, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I've never seen a Chippendale like they're having Chippendale like Chippendales are taking pictures with women, okay? And I was like, oh my goodness, this is my chance, this is my moment to shine. So I go over to the lady and she's like, oh, do you guys wanna take photos? And I'm like, hell yes we do. And then all of a sudden this man, one of the Chippendales just comes up. I wouldn't say walking, but kind of like stumbling up to me, and he just rests his arm on this little sign, and then he asked me. Excuse the fuck out of me. I didn't even want any of the drama. I was like, he's too turned. So I was just like, you know what? Yeah, I'm from Cali. You know, we're from Cali. Uh. You're from Cali. You're from Cali. You're from Cali. Yeah. And that's when my friend cut the camera. She handed me the camera and we went to go take photos with these two men. I tried to go give this lady my camera and right as I'm about to leave, this drunk ass man just, where you going? And I'm like, nowhere. If I was like sober, like that wouldn't have gone down. Like I would have had to like judo chop the fuck out of his hand because that was not okay. So the first pose was like us like coming together like this and I was holding his like his head or his neck I guess you know like a romantic pose like that you see on all the movie posters he's just looking at me in my face with his drunk ass eyes you know that look that drunk people be giving like I hate that shit so much but he was just looking at me like that like all up in my face with his drunk ass breath and then he whispered in my ear how long have you been a woman and I looked at him dead on with a straight face and said, all my life. Now, the reason why I said that is because, one, I did not have the time, the energy, the strength to even tell him that I did not identify as a woman. I identified as a man, but I just like looking really, really good, you know, like in a feminine way. But he was drunk. He wasn't going to get that. So I was just like, let me just skip to that part where I say all my life. And second of all, even if I was trans, like, that is none of his fucking business. You know, I don't... So after that really intrusive, rude-ass motherfucking question, he proceeds to bend me over because, you know, silly, sexy photo about to get slapped on the butt. And he's got his hand up in the air, and I guess they take the photo, and he slaps me so motherfucking hard on my ass, girl. I squealed and jumped forward. Like, it was no laughing matter. Like, he slapped me so hard on my butt. The other Chippendale was just like, dude, like, what the fuck are you doing? Why couldn't I get that other nice Chippendale? Like, why, why did I get stuck with Mr. Drunk Ass Motherfucker over here? Me and my friend both took, like, single shots with both of the Chippendales at the same time. I remember specifically, I had to jump on or wrap my legs around the drunk man. Of course he can't fucking stand the fuck up. So he stumbles backwards and my knee bangs into the counter. It hurt so much like it was right in my knee. Like right in my knee. I was, oh Jesus Christ the Latter Day Saints. I was done after that. I was so done. I was just like just take the fucking photo. Just please Jesus. So after they take the photo I was like thank you sir. Thank you. Goodbye. And after that experience it just really solidified the notion for me that if you ain't got nothing going on in your head 
Bitch, I'm not gonna take you to bed. If you ain't got nothing in your mind, bitch, to me, you ain't fine. It doesn't matter how cute you are, how beautiful you are, how many rock hard abs you have. If you is stank, you is stank. And I mean stank in every meaning of the word. You stank, you stank, you stank. Like stank, okay? With that being said, the lesson for today's video is don't be a stank bitch. And if you're working, fucking don't drink. And if you decide that you wanna drink, don't get drunk, bitch. Because that is not cute. And that is not good for you. And that will get you fired. So don't do that, okay? Thank you for watching. And let me know if any of y'all have had like a really awkward situation with a man or woman. Like how? You know what? I don't even want to ask that question. I just want to go. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye! So, what I normally do is I just take some hair like this and brush it forward a little, and then I just pull an Ariana Grande and I just pull it back. <laughs>